Hey guys, this is Brad, otherwise known as Pug Weasel, and I'm doing another beer review really quick right before I have dinner. So, uh, today's beer is Bear Republic Hot Rod uh, Rye. And uh, I had it a little bit taste of it, and I can't remember exactly how it was, but I gotta tell you, these rye beers are really growing on me. I uh, really like the rye beers. So, uh, while I'm opening this, I'm just going to tell you that Beer Advocate gives this beer a score of 95, which they label as world class, and it's 8% alcohol by volume. Uh, so, let me see if I can get a little head on there, see what happens. Uh, all right, I can smell some yeast right now. So that's uh, very nice. Let me give you a close up of the bottle. So, very busy label there, but uh, I'm anxious to try this again and, and review it since uh, it got such a high score. And. I think about beers like Chimay, which usually get the big, the higher scores, but I think of all the beers I've tried to review, this has got the highest score of any that I've seen. It's got a beautiful amber color. Uh, the last rye I had was O'Fallon. I did a review on it and it actually called itself an amber ale. This has got a beautiful, beautiful amber color. It's relatively clear. It's not cloudy. I do not see any bubbles. Let me hold it up to the light. No, I don't see any bubbles, so I don't expect this to be a very uh, carbony, carbonated beer, uh, fizzy beer. But you never know. It's got definitely just a overwhelming uh, smell of yeast. It's a very nice smell. It's not a flowery or aromatic type smell like that. It's just you know, that beer yeast that you, that you love if you really love beers. All right, so a little fizz uh, when you first try it. It's, I don't know if I would have given this like a 95 and called it world class, but it is very good. It's just, I'm not, I'm not tasting anything that makes me want to say that it's any better than any other rye I've had. Uh, so, great taste of toasted malts up in the front when you first, uh, you know, get your sip into your mouth and it hits the taste buds. Then you get a slight taste of, of the bitter towards the end and a bit of a just slightly piney flavor in the aftertaste, but there's not much of an aftertaste at all. Uh, definitely can taste the toasted caramel uh, malts, though. It's not heavy like you know an even darker beer. It's it's about what you think it would be for an amber colored beer like this brown, a light brown beer. It's very good. It's light. Uh, it's not super heavy. I'm not, you know, I know a lot of people talk about lacing and and talk about uh, whether the beer stays up on the glass and how thick it is. I am not a gigantic fan of the thicker beers, the thicker feeling beers. I always think more alcohol, and I do, I like them. I shouldn't say I'm not a fan, but as far as preference, I'd rather have a beer that I could feel, that I could feel like I'd have a couple of as I sat around with friends than something where I know I'm just going to have one because it seems so heavy. This beer would be great in like this weather right now that as we're going into fall and it'd be great in spring, it's going to be great in the winter. Uh, wouldn't be the first thing I'd pick in the summer. Uh, great for what I'm going to have it with tonight which is chili and for your heartier meals like that it's going to be wonderful for that. Obviously, you know, beers don't have rules like that. You can have whatever you want with whatever you want. But 
I don't think uh, chicken salad when I when I drink this beer. I think meatloaf, chili, uh, pork chops. So, great beer. Go and try it. Uh, Hop Rod uh, Rye by Bear Republic.